Here are some amazing things you can only see under a microscope. Let's get started. Look at all those beautiful bright colors. It looks like some kind of abstract artwork, doesn't it? Well, this is going to look strange to you because the colors you see here are not colors that an artist used to paint his picture. But drops of orange juice seen under a microscope. Incredible. It is true that it is hard to believe that this is fruit juice. And since we all know the color of orange juice so well, seeing blue and green under the microscope can make us think of certain things such as the presence of foreign bodies or some object that cannot be assimilated or digested by the human body. Obviously, this might seem repulsive to some of you, while others will find this image magical. What about you? What do you think about it? Some time ago, you came across this green image, but you were especially attracted by these shapes that look like chronicle flowers. At first, you thought of rocks from some distant planet or an image taken from the underwater world showing a kind of algae that you have never seen before. But then you laughed when you discovered that it was actually a Romanesco cabbage leaf seen under a microscope. Indeed, those blisters you saw and that gave you the impression to see underwater or celestial bodies are only the fractals of this plant. Indeed, it is these flakes that give Romanesco cabbage its striking and amazing shape that we know so well. But seen under a microscope, this plant seems even more incredible. Seeing things under a microscope gives us a lot of ideas. Take a good look at this picture and tell me what this big spiral thread filled with thousands of filaments reminds you of. Well, it's not a twisted marshmallow with licorice filling, as you might have thought at first, and it's not the thread of a light bulb either. In fact, it's simply a guitar string. Hard to believe, right? This proves, of course, that you have never wondered how the strings of musical instruments are made, and especially those of the guitar. To give you an idea of how it is made, a guitar string, depending on the high or low tone it produces, can be made of nylon or steel and can be wrapped in steel wire, bronze or a bronze and copper alloy. Seen under a microscope, the whole thing gives us this incredible picture. You'll remember it well when you touch a guitar next time. While you are looking at all these beautiful paintings, you are probably wondering who is the painter behind these incredible works of art. It's hard to guess who is the genius artist behind all these paintings. And of course, you find it hard to take your eyes off all these beautiful harmonious colors that seem to have a unique and incredible perfection. But hey, let's put an end to all the suspense and answer the many, many questions you have about the origin of these paintings. In fact, they are not paintings, but a set of butterfly wings that are seen under the microscope. Whoa. These pictures were taken by Lyndon Gladhill, a biochemist and photographer who took care of creating these beautiful set of photographs, giving us some beautiful natural works of art that cannot be seen by the human eye. So, what do you say? No one will deny that butterfly wings are incredibly beautiful, but seen under a microscope, we can't find anything wrong with all these magnificence. Optical microscopes are able to show us things that are impossible to see with the naked eye. Everyone knows that. However, sometimes it is hard to believe that these life-size images can refer to some of the things we see, eat or use every day. For example, look at this picture and tell me what you think it represents. One, two, three, four. Still haven't figured it out? Well, it is a potato tubber cup. Only that? Yes, we are sure you have never wondered before what the inside of a potato really looks like. Here is a good picture to give you an idea. But be aware that the blue-black colored areas you see here are the starch-rich parts of the potato. The photographer had taken care to add iodized water to the tubber cut in order to color the starchy areas, so it would be easier for us to detect them. That's it. The next time you eat a potato, think of this image. Tell me, what's the first thing you'll think of when you see this image for the first time? Well, you might think of a cave with stalactites and stalagmites, while another person might think of a cow's udder with milk dripping from its nipples. But neither you nor that person will be right. In fact, this thing you see is nothing more or less than a thread of spider silk stretched between three grains of pollen. 
Wow, that's insane. How can such a fine and delicate thread can be crushed without too much effort between two fingers appear to be so rigidly stretched as shown in this picture? This may seem very surprising at first, but you should know that this impressive image, which was taken with an electron microscope, is the result of a magnification X1000. And to make it even more visible, the specialists took care to add some artificial colors. The result, you have a very clear and visible image, but above all, you have a better idea of the resistance of a spider silk thread. All in all, this thread is not as fragile as one might think. Now let's take a look at the human body and its different parts. Seeing tissues or organs under the microscope reveals many things we don't know about our bodies. And of course, these images have nothing to do with reality. For example, do you know what part of the human body this image you see here is? Think about it, because it's not that difficult. Well, as you may have guessed, it is a bone. Congratulations, you have found the right answer. Now let's analyze this image a little more. See these white holes? They represent the porous part of the bone. As for the compact part, it is much more complex than the porous part. In fact, to see it properly, you have to enlarge the image even more under the microscope. With a magnification X400, for example, we can distinguish the small hollow cylinder which represents the osteon. This is the structural unit of the compact bone. To give you a better idea, the osteon is composed of concentric bone lamellae. It is crossed in its center by a canal called Haver's Canal, which allows the passage of nerve fibers and capillaries. Wow, all this suddenly seems very complex and infinitely tiny, doesn't it? But tell me, did you know all the stuff about bones before you saw this picture? Certainly not. Microscopes can tell you a lot of things, can't they? Now get ready to see something you never seen before in your life. We're pretty sure. Imagine that you are looking under a microscope at these little metal flaps that look like teeth. Of course, you know that they are not teeth and even less metal strips. You then reduce the magnification of the microscope a little and what do you discover? That it is a fish skin. A shark skin to be more precise. The small teeth you saw are indeed placoid shark scales which are also called denticles. This is quite amazing. When you see a shark, you don't think that its skin, which seems so smooth, is in fact strewn with millions of scales that look like tiny teeth and are invisible to the naked eye. But the microscope is there to prove it. Well, if you ever have the opportunity to swim with sharks and stroke one of them back and forth with your hand, you will discover that the shark skin is smooth in one direction, but very rough in the other. You should also know that these V-shaped placoid scales play a very important role for the shark as they protect it from wounds and parasites. Moreover, they allow the shark to swim faster and more silently, without using much energy. There are some things in nature that look beautiful to us when we see them with the naked eye. But when we see them under the microscope, they look even more beautiful and surprising than ever. One such example comes from the animal kingdom, specifically the bird kingdom. As you may have guessed, we are talking about peacock feathers. Of course, the peacock is often considered the most beautiful bird in existence because of its extraordinary shimmering plumage and majestic bearing, especially when this magnificent bird does a cartwheel to seduce its female. But if you see these feathers under a microscope, they will look amazingly beautiful. Take a look for yourself to see what they look like. If you magnify the image 10 times with a microscope, for example, you can distinguish some kind of cables with uniform and fluorescent colors. Isn't this extraordinary? Ah, nature is full of amazing secrets. Now answer this simple question. What do you see there? You can very well bring your eyes closer to see better and that will undoubtedly allow you to find the answer to my question. But these are neither precious stones nor jewels as you may have thought. In fact, they are grains of sand seen under a microscope. No, this is not a joke. Sand looks like this in reality. It's hard to believe that all those stretches of sand you see on the beach can look like that under the microscope. However, it is worth remembering the composition of sand to understand the reason for all these beautiful microscopic images. 
Well, sand is made up of very small grains of crushed rock as well as minerals, and this composition of course differs from place to place. The observation of sand under a microscope allows us to study its general characteristics, to know its main components and thus to determine its origin. However, there are different types of sand. And whatever the characteristics, all the microscopic images of sand are fascinating. And now, will you recognize the hole you see in this picture? You will probably tell me that this picture represents a cave, a hole dug in a mountain or a well photographed from a certain angle, but it is neither one nor the other. This hole is that of a perforation of the skin by a needle. What do you mean? To answer your astonished question, this is what your skin looks like when a needle pricks you or when you are injected. The needle or syringe leaves this hole, which is of course invisible to the naked eye. But if you enlarge the image with a microscope, you can see a hole similar to this one. Of course, to get an image as clear and representative as this one, you need a very good microscope and a very high magnification. But it is important that this image does not make you gag. By the way, this image showing a hole caused by a tattoo needle and resulting from a X280 magnification under the microscope was shared on social networks in April 2021. It is not known if it raised the stomach of some people among those who saw it for the first time. But what is certain is that this image became very viral and generated quite a few comments after it was shared. So, what do you think? Isn't it amazing to see a hole in your skin under the microscope? Now tell us in the comments, what do you think about all these things seen under the microscope? Have you ever seen any of these things through a microscope? Don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch another of our videos.